Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Ukulele playing on Intel HD 620 graphics uh, with a Core i3-7100U processor. And we're running the game here at 640 by 400. Uh, the game actually appears to do um, render scaling, so I think it runs native resolution to the panel and then has the 3D elements rendered at a lower resolution. Uh, this means, as you can see, the 2D elements that appear on the screen actually remain fairly sharp um, the panel I was playing this on was actually 1366 by 768 so it's going to be rendering the 2d elements at that resolution and then the game elements at 640 by 400 um, and when you think this is kind of inspired by the classic N64 titles like Banjo-Kazooie, um, actually running it at that lower res doesn't look too bad. It gives almost that kind of feel, albeit obviously with much higher textures and effects and all the rest. Um, I've locked it to the half V-Sync uh, frame rate, so 29-30 frames per second, depending um, sort of on how things are rounded. And I found it was a pretty good experience um, on these settings. Um, if you ran it at, say, 720p rendering resolution, then it was sort of worse frame rates. I did find some of the higher parts of this opening level, if you, so say, climbing up here, if you look out over the scenery, you drop down to about 22 frames per second but I didn't have any issues sort of playing through the areas that I was. Um, it was mostly relatively consistent 30 frames per second um, with sort of the occasional drops, but they weren't something that was going to be sort of ending the gameplay. And again, if you're kind of used to the old N64 titles of this ilk, you'd experience some slowdown in those anyway. So overall, um, if you've got HD 620 equipped system or similar, I'd have no problems recommending this. You're probably going to want to play it with, say, an Xbox 360 gamepad, but it should be a nice playable experience so long as you're willing to compromise a bit on that rendering resolution. I hope you found this video useful. Um, do let me know what you'd like to see tested in the future and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as I post them. Thanks for watching.